In this video, we are going to look at how do we create a user in CUA and what are the things we need to watch out when we create a user in CUA. Okay. So, regular, like a regular user, you just go to slash in SU01. So, let's say I want to create one user, 110. Okay. I click on create. So, I put the last name. Usual. Go to logon data, <coughs> put a password. Now, one of the things we need to do in a central system is we need to specify which system the user is going to be created. So, we go to system. Now, you want to pick up a system. So, let's say I pick up WMS, okay, as my system. Click on that enter now when you go to roles wm is already is already assigned here so now let's say i want to pick up a user from wms and then i pick the role wms pick the role so let's say i want to look for all zeros <coughs> so it's going to display all the zeros so for example, if if I know I just transported a role to WMS, but I'm not able to see in this list, uh, what it means is you have not done a user compare, or the, or in other words, CWA does not know that the new user exists in the central system. The new user does not exist in the central system. The central system does not know the user exists in the child system. So we need to let it know. Uh, just transporting uh, the role will not uh, let the CUA central system know that the role new role exists in the child system. So what you need to do is uh, you need to do what is called text compare. So when you do a text compare, you just do a text compare, execute. So what this is going to do is it's going to go to all the child systems and then pull the exit new list of all the roles and then update the uh, central system. So if you don't do this, the new new role you created will not be visible to the central system. So let the process go through. <coughs> It's waiting for the system to get all the list of all the roles. Okay, so it checked everything looks okay. Let's go back. Now hit WMS. I want to I want to assign this role. Save roles. Hit save. Okay, now the user is saved. Now I want to make sure the user got uh, got to the child systems. Okay, so now for that I need to go to slash section S C U L. So I can check the logs. So I know the user is one one zero. So I can see that the user is green and it is successful. Right? If you want to know some of the other statuses in the screen, you just click on this button here. So green means error free, distributed warnings, distribution unconfirmed and distribution errors.